Hello friends, my name is Sumit and we are watching CTX Cloud Tech video. So in our last video, we have seen that how we to add a physical link on a ESXi server, how to create a virtual switch and how to create a port group. So in today's video, we are going to see what is VM kernel NICs, how to add a storage with IXG software adapter, plus how to create an uh, IXG storage LAN on a QNAP storage uh, server. You can say that QNAP NAS server. So first of all, I'm go going to show you, I have a QNAP NAS storage. So the IP address of QNAP storage is 192.168.1.8. So quickly, I'm going to log in into this uh, NAS server. So earlier, like few minutes back, I have logged in. So that's why it is not asked for the user and username and password, but now it's logged in. So to create an IXG storage channels, you have to click on this uh, icon, IXG and fiber channel so once you guys will click here so the option is to create so make sure services is enabled here and here is the option create new ixg target so once you will click here so the next you guys need to see that welcome to ixg target creation wizard so this is showing that uh, there is like storage hard disk attached to this target and then initiated to your system server or esxi or uh, Zen server any hypervisor. So you guys have to click on next. Here you guys need to give an any name of your target profile. So I'm giving QNAP, so that's fine. So QNAP alias is QNAP dot uh, the uh, IXG adapter name. So next, this is like adapter name. QNAP IQN number is the uh, like uh, whenever you have a server, there are three types like host num host name, then IP address. And in the storage type, you have the IQN number. So with the help of IQN number, you can map the hard disk, I mean storage to your server. So I'm going to click on next. Here, uh, authentication type. So I'm not using any type of CHAP or PAP uh, type of authentication. So there, are, these are like some advanced encryption during uh, your uh, storage creation. So right now, I'm not using any type of this authentication. So click on next. Here you need to specify the adapter. So this is the adapter which is connected to my NAS storage and it is showing 192.168.1.8 address. Click on next. So you can must at least one interface. So I have to select it and click on next. So here is the summary. So once I will click on apply, so a ISG storage LAN will create here and then it can be mounted on the ESXi server or any type of Windows server or any type of uh, Zen server, Hyper-V, so any kind of hypervisor you can connect this storage. So I have already created that. So it is saying ESXi storage and right now it is connected with my previous ESXi server. So whenever we have started this training, so I have created ESXi 4, ESXi 1, 2, 3 and EO is already created in my lab and they are showing it is connected. So now we are going to connect our fourth ESXi server to this storage. So I'm going here. The first option now you need to check is VM kernel NIC. Okay. So VM kernel NIC is basically in uh, like software type of NIC where you can uh, select the option like pre provisioning type, V motion, SV motion. So let me show you. So once you will create here, so you have to select the port group. So earlier when I started my video with the networking, so I said that first you have to mount the physical NIC, then you have to create a virtual switch, then you have to create a port group. So from here, I am going to select my storage port group, which we have created in our last video. Now it is showing what is the IPv, uh, what is the IP address you want to select here. So it is giving IPv4 only. So once you will expand this, so you can give the IP address. So I'm giving a static IP address here. So 192.168.1.44 is the static IP address. I'm going to assign this ESXi host. Now, what is the default gateway? So default subnet is 255.255.255.0. So I'm using as a class C IP. So that's why this is the subnet. So now this is the important option. So what services you want to bind with this VM kernel leak? So the first is VM motion, the second one is provisioning, the third one is fault tolerance, the fourth one is management, replication and NFC replication. So all these options we are going to see in uh, the later stage because we will elaborate all the options one by one. The first one, right now I'm selecting this as in provisioning so that I can provision my storage device to this ESXi server. So I have provisioned, click on create. And now you guys can see that 
one of my vm kernel nick is connected with the storage uh, port group and the vm nick is vm nick one the port group is storage and this is working on default uh, tcp ip port and you guys can see that the first one is connected with my management network then now it is connected with the provisioning and the uh, ip address is 192.168.1.44 so the next option is to go on storage and click on adapters and you guys can see that one is ixaji storage adapter is connected here okay so once i will click here so i have to configure this so let me go back again and here is the option you uh, once you will click on ixg storage adapter, adapter so you guys will get the option configure ixg okay so once you are you will click here so you guys can see that it it is enabled now and this is the iqn number which will automatically connect with my storage so you have to give some configurations here the first one is port group so which port group you want to bind this sto storage i mean software ixg adapter so i am going to select my storage uh, storage vm kernel nick and this is the port group so i have selected this uh, okay it is showing that already bounded with this so yeah you can see that vm nick storage is already binded with this uh, uh, with this ixg software adapter now you guys have to select from where we want to attach the storage so in my uh, when we started this video i have shown that ip 192.168.1.8 is my qnap nas storage uh, uh nas storage ip so i am going to select on static target and uh, let me select here and first one is give the ip target name so it is nas qnap iphone nas and the ip address is 192.168.1.8 and let's remove the second one so this is not required and click on save configuration so click on cancel let me refresh this and let me see if my storage is available right now so once i will click on devices okay it is not showing let me configure this again so once i will click here click on adapters and click on ixg click on configure ixg and it is not showing static ip let me connect with the dynamic one so 192.168.1.1.8 click on save okay this time it is connected so let me refresh this let me rescan this adapter so that it can connect the my backend storage so once i will click on devices data stores is still not showing but i know the configuration is right um, i'm not sure why it is not showing maybe one reboot is needed let me reboot the, this esxi server so that it can be mounted automatically so again i'm going to check uh, wait a second let me rescan this devices again still not showing adapters select this rescan this okay it is still not showing okay no problem let me restart this so that it can pick the storage device so in most of the cases it will detect automatically but whenever it will not detect so try to reboot your esxi server so we are going to reboot this okay guys so my server reboot has been completed now so let me click on devices and right now it is showing qnap ixg so only whenever you face like this issue so try to reboot your esxi server because the configuration we have done is in the correct way might be some dns cache issue that's why it is not replicating but in your actual environment whenever you will refresh your adapter so it will automatically get connected so let me click this and here i can create a new storage so that i can create the virtual machines on this storage and i can mount with my storage so right now you guys can see that storage is zero on this esx server but we have connected we have detected that okay one ES, one storage is uh, trying to connect with this esxi server in the back, background so basically we have connected a storage uh, fiber channel with our esxi now we have to create a storage from this uh, storage channel so click on new storage and give the name like i am giving citrix hyphen prod hyphen storage click on next 
here you have to select how much uh, how much uh, storage you want to add with the this ASXi. So currently it is detected six thousand six hundred six thousand four. I mean six forty three GB. Now it is detected. So free space is uh, six hundred forty three GB. So click on next and click on finish. Click on yes. And now you guys can see that after that a storage will add on my ASXi server. So you guys can see that the storage is Citrix Pro storage. Citrix Pro storage is now connected by, with my ESXi server and this storage is coming from this NAS server. Okay. So in our next video, we are going to deploy our vCenter on this storage and on this ESXi. So just stay connected with CTS Cloud and like the video. And if you have any confusion or if you have any questions, so just put your comments in the comment section. So we will try to figure out those questions. So thank you. Thank you so much, guys.